What's going on you guys? Camp here. Today we're gonna do a little backyard shenanigans while we're self-quarantined. And uh, to start, our neighbor over there, he has reported that there's been fisher cats roaming behind our house, attacking her cats. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. <sighs> I don't know why, but I'm out of breath. Camp Facer. She hired a, a company to come and trap them. And I think I just saw one after like five days. Finally, there's one in one of the traps. I've never seen a fisher cat up close. So we're gonna go investigate this, this thing. See what it is. Fisher cat. If you guys don't know what a fisher cat is, they're wild like rodents. They live out in the backwoods. They attack little other little rodents. They have big claws, teeth. They're pretty vicious. And worst off, they sound like crying babies. Something you've never heard. If you heard one at night, you would think it's a, a newborn baby screaming and crying in your backyard. It's a pretty big one. Could have rabies, I don't know. What's up, fella? What's up? Let's see if we can get a little closer. Oh, this guy's bad. Hey. You're the one who's been in our backyard, huh? Oh, shit. I'm not gonna... That looks like a big... Wow. There's probably more of these things hanging around, too. It's all right. Look at that, you guys. Jesus Christ. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna bother that thing anymore. I just wanted to give you guys a close up on it. Whew, that is some pretty scary. If, dude, if that thing attacked me, I think I'd be all done. I would be all done. <sighs> Man. We had a cat years ago, and I want to say our cat got attacked by a fisher cat a few times because they had he had pretty big gouges going across his head. But um, honestly, those things aren't safe to have around a neighborhood like this. And usually they live way, way out in the woods. That's fine, but when they start moving in towards little neighborhoods like this and start um, nesting around here. That's no good for kids and um, what they're doing is they're going to trap it and they're going to trap and release like the DEM will bring it way out. They might want to do some rabies tests on it, but they'll put it way out in the woods. Social distance. Self-quarantine. We're out here burning the trash in the backyard, you guys. Come on, baby.
Now the wind's picking up, of course. You're supposed to do this when it's not windy out, you guys, and it was dead, dead calm. As soon as the flame started, the wind picked up. Look at the flame. Come on. Burn off, burn off. I got a little safety fire hose over here just in case. But we're good, we're good. We're not burning much more than that today. We just had to clear some stuff out of the basement. Instead of bagging all the boxes, we should burn them. Why not? But see all the leaves? That's what worries me with the, uh, the ashes. But by the time they make five feet into the air, they're pretty much cooled off. <clears throat> We're good. Been doing this for years. I'm an expert. <clears throat> when you guys are out in nature, I highly recommend carry strawberry flavored Pop-Tarts. You can't go wrong in the black cherry seltzer water. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at the color. And I eat them when they're cold. That's when they're good. The warm, it kind of gets too sweet and gooey inside your mouth and your throat. Look at this. Oh, yes. Mmm. Mmm. Nice sparkle. Ah. Mm. I drank this because there's no sugar and it's really good for you, but it tastes like soda at the end of the day. But then here I am eating a sugary Pop Tart. Mmm. Mm. Hi, Dad. Oh, hi. You're in your pajamas, but you have your sneakers on. Mm. Yay, fire. Mm. Don't fall on the fire. So my wife decides to throw on two more boxes after we get done burning the, the pile. Where were they? Did they drink all this stuff in a matter of 10 yeah. minutes? Yeah, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Look at this. Fanta. Who drinks Fanta? Uh, pop, pop. And, and coffee. Who drinks that much coffee? This is a lot of coffee. But, you know, I drink a lot of it, too. <laughs> I don't know if I'm into starting this fire again. I might just leave these sitting overnight. No, no. So... What I'm thinking is we might do something a little more fun, like, hey, don't fall on, you'll get, hey, watch out for that tree. You could fall on something sharp and get, look, all right, watch out, look out. See, if you trip, man, you might fall on this and get stabbed. You could. I wouldn't play on this, man. It's fun, please. I wouldn't play on it. I'll get this out. All right, watch out. Sorry. Over here we have uh, Mr. Uh, Smokey the Bear. We got Smokey the Bear over here. It's, it's, it's our target for our, our archery, bow and arrow, compound bow. And uh, see this crack going right here? See this tree? When this tree here fell over, it landed on Smokey. And it knocked him out of the ground and knocked his whole entire head off. And as you guys can see, see this? I had put silicone and I siliconed him back together. He's holding up a little bit, but he's he's probably seeing the end of his days. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Because you might break him more. So, poor Grizzly. He looks like he's bleeding. He's got something pouring out of the wound there. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm going to break it just by looking at it. All right. What I'm thinking is, what if we put Jason Voorhees' action figure and try hitting him with a bow and arrow? That could be kind of fun. No, Dad. No. Yeah. All right, you guys, we changed the plan here. For now, instead of using a bow and arrow, we're gonna just use a BB gun because I figure the pellets are smaller and we're gonna see what kind of damage we could do on Jason, the Scooby-Doo version of Jason. See how, all right, let's take a look at him, you guys. He's nice and clean. We're gonna see today what these daisy pellets here can do to Jason. Now I'm gonna first, hold on, first I'm gonna shoot from maybe about 15 feet away. If it's too hard to hit him, which I don't think is gonna be a problem, then I'll move closer. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do about five, five hits on him and see what those five hits do. After I hit him down five times, then I'll show the damage to the camera. Here we go. Headshot, yes. Yes, yes. You guys, I think I got him in the head that time. And we're gonna, we're, we're gonna leave the machete out of his hand because that's almost like we got him in battle. Now he doesn't know where it went. I'm gonna go for the, the groin. Oh, missed. Oh! He goes down! <laughs> that was a shot to the groin, you guys. Let's do another headshot, or maybe the chest. Oh, that's three. I I'm gonna go for another headshot, maybe in the neck. Oh, right under the mask. One more, you guys. This time I'm gonna do a You guys, this time I'm gonna do a shot right square to the side of the head. Say your prayers, Mr. Voorhees. Oh! Ooh, that was point blank, point blank. So let's see the damage. Oh, you guys, it looks like Jason wasn't taking any damage, okay, until that last shot. Um, sorry. Yeah, he's solid plastic, and from 15 feet away, it seemed like every shot, as you could see, was pretty, no, nothing happening. Until that last shot, take a look at his mask, you guys. Point blank from the side, took his mask and cracked it. Right down the middle. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with that because he's not supposed to have a face. It's not supposed to come off. It's kind of molded to his head. So when I try to peel that off, I don't know what's going to happen. I might have to glue that back on. Uh, let me see right now. And this was shot with the Red Rider from the Christmas Story gun, you guys. So let's see what we got going on. I'm going to try to somehow... Pull his mask. See how the straps are all part of the mold? It's just, I don't know if the camera's, oh. Oh my God, it's like pulling a fingernail off, you guys. It's so disgusting. Look at that. Oh, maybe I should just leave him like that. 
every time you know what i'll turn this into the guinea pig jason of camp phaser we'll bring him on an adventure i'll tie him to a string behind the car i'll maybe light off a couple fireworks underneath them maybe i'll light them on fire one day but this is the uh damage he took from five shots with a red rider bb gun you guys scooby Doo, scooby Doo, scooby Doo. jason is done adios um anyways i'm gonna call this vlog good here um i'm glad you guys get to hang out in the backyard at camp watch me burn some food eat a pop tart and kill scooby Doo jason um this is what we do on our uh quarantine from the, the what's been going on and this is what we're doing we're hanging out and i hope you guys are having fun doing the same thing and if you guys like this kind of stuff let me know leave a comment down below give me a thumbs up if you guys have not yet subscribed please do i appreciate it and yeah until next time you guys know stay out of the woods Thank you.